Welcome back, Hunters! I'm the Survival This, and we return to the Hunter Classic with our Hirschville and Expeditions. So this is part two of our weekend, episode six now, I believe. And we admittedly didn't get too much in last episode. One thing's about trying to use the shotgun bow pairing that I am using. It's a little bit difficult to get the shots accurate to the vital spots of some of these animals. I did manage to get our first fallow deer, though, which was a um, decent enough specimen. It actually came in for a nice amount of GM. And I'm going to try to get the second of the three, or the second, that. It was the first four of the two, but of the three animals. A bit of a confusion there, but... It's the boar we wounded first last episode with the longbow, but I still have to track down where exactly it might be. And unfortunately... Uh, I mean, we do have the pheasant just right out here, so maybe just for a little bit of sake of, like, getting something... Oh, no, no, no. What is... See, that's what I don't know what it is. Okay, something weird is going on. I don't exactly know what, though. Anyway, there's the pheasant up there. So I'm going to see just about going, try to get a couple of these guys. And they are on their way back to where the other uh, boar prince should be. But yeah, maybe it's the fallow deer making more noise or something, but it seems like there have been an awful lot of noises that aren't, like, associated with, like, animal calls on Hirschfelden. And I do have to try to... Okay, it looks like those two X's way back there, I think, are the last tracks I have of the boar we wounded. So I can use those as a reference to try getting my way back to finding them. Yeah, let me just see. Okay, birdshot is... Yeah, I do hear the pheasants going off. We'll focus on just these two up ahead of us. Oh. Although, I do think I need for my mission another female. Okay, so that actually has them hunkering down, so you know what? If they are going to hunker like that... Uh, I do need an airborne female, but I think I'd prefer to just go for this other guy, since he is kind of squeezed up in a little ball of terror right now. Okay, you know what, let's just go and collect these two. This guy, I'm pretty sure, is down and out. Yeah, there he is. Okay. And how much are you worth? Do 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 oh, actually not too bad, 36 GM from that guy. And we'll head back this way to get the other one that I bopped off. And then we'll hopefully be back towards where the boar prints are, and we can pick up that trail. If I do get the chance at just, like, a passing female pheasant in the air, I'll definitely try, because I think that'll knock off the, uh, one mission I've got. And how much are you? Uh, 32. Not too bad for those two. I mean, granted, they were both just ground shots, so it's not exactly... They're actually airborne and perhaps more sporting of a 
target to go after. But right now, I'm just trying to get some stuff on camera and get some more content done that's actually kind of successful. I think I'll keep with the bird... Yeah, the bird shot for now. Just because there probably are... Well, we're hearing a lot more pheasants out there. But I need to get down and find boar tracks. Figure out where that wounded one went off to. I don't know if we'd be able to find her... Find tracks from it over here or not. These are all saying new, so... No. Oh. No, that's just the pheasant again. No, that's new trail again. Yeah, it's quite a bit of backtracking in order to get back to these tracks, but again, if I can, I would like to not leave a wounded animal out on any of the hunts. It gives you that little scolding from Doc, and it's just a little bit annoying to deal with that message in the inbox. Okay, so I think this is... Yeah, a lot of calls and that's still from them. Okay, I think this is one of the last tracks we have of her. No, that was just a trotting from a different one. So then it's this one. Okay, so this was the last one of the last ones we got of her. Are there any others up on this hill, or did she possibly... I don't see anything else up on this hill from her, so I'm guessing this is accurate. And she came up to here, to this point, and started trotting towards the east. Okay, so there's that one. And then there's this one. Now, where did she go from here? No. Oh, there's another track, although that might be an older one. Yeah, I kind of feel like these ones might be her old way that she came in. Although... It is going more this way. Let me just check what this one is. No, oh, no, this was a fleeing track. To add even more confusion to this puzzle. That's kind of one of the nice things in Call of the Wild, although it can be hard to get actually happen, is you can actually have, like, a... If you get zoomed in enough, you can actually see, like, the line between the tracks. So, it kind of can help you piece the path together. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think we're back on the proper trail now. Hopefully, it's just going to be a body sitting around somewhere that we can pick up, and that'll be the end of this. Oh, actually, that's a female pheasant right there. Oh, I lost her in the branches a bit. I don't think we got her. Yeah, I, I just thought that was ambient bird for a second there with how it was flying over. And then trotting back this way, and then there's this one here. And just heard another odd sound. Oh, another one here. Other side, take a walk this way in case maybe one of those shots actually managed to hit the pheasant, but I don't think so. Oh, 
Um, actually, that... That's quite a distance out. Maybe I did get the pheasant, because I didn't think that would show up with how far off that one is. Let's just investigate and see. Because, again, usually the tracks have a bit of a close radius for when you'll actually, like... Well, there, right beside there, you saw that one only active now. Oh, I actually did get the pheasant. I got her twice. Oh, and there is an objective met. Or actually a full mission done, okay. Yeah, so actually, I guess it was worth it to decide to come and check. But that kind of goes to show you, when it's a downed animal, you have a farther visibility to where that, where it is, compared to the tracks. So if we do have the boar down somewhere, we might see the, uh marker quite a ways off when we're getting close. Although... Okay, which way? Okay, looks like I decide to go down the water here, perhaps. I'm certainly hoping it's not a cross, because I can't actually do anything if it is a cross. Let's just keep looking and see. Now, I think that's just a track, because it did seem to only want to come into... Yeah, just another track, but at least we know we're in the right direction. And wild boars, feral hogs, they are hardy things. They do not go down easily. So I don't know if that really translates... Well, I guess it kind of does translate into the game a bit, because you do need higher caliber weapons or firepower to take them down, really. But they are things that will... Tenacious things. It's a reason why they're such a problem as, like, an invasive species. God, still going. But at least we do seem to be right along the track of it. Near the track line. Just gotta hope that somewhere up ahead, maybe over a hill or something, she's down and we got... we can pick her up. With how much time has passed, I'd imagine that's the case, but... Again, it's still showing there's quite a distance it traveled. No, actually still came up as like a body bleed, though. That's pretty rare after this much time. Usually, it seems like there's a certain point where after enough time has passed on, like, a shot, they stop bleeding, and that's the end of it. Maybe because this is with a uh, bow and arrow, it still has the bleed happening. Yeah, it's definitely gone for a good distance. I'm really hoping with all these bleeds in a row, that means it is down somewhere close by. And we can circle back into the field and see about trying to go for just another proper animal. Oh, of course it has to be across the river. A river I don't think we can actually cross without... Yeah, we'd have to go all the way around if we want to get across the river. Ah, it's one of the things where I wish you could just swim across. Well, it might have cut inwards from here. Okay, what do we got here? It's another track. Oh yeah, now the tracks are all lining up pretty nicely after each other. There, again, that! I don't know if that's a fallow deer or something else, just like map ambience, but... Now 
Okay, we are kind of getting close to the field, so I'm just going to crouch down just in case there might be an opportunity. No, actually, track right over here. Oh, here she finally is. Oh, and... That looks like a male boar. I can kind of see the uh, whiteness to the mouth area. So let me swap this out for slugs. Yeah, there she is. Oh, body and skull. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's why this actually gave a fair amount of GM for. <coughs> you know what, what I'm going to do is try applying the ascent eliminator. Because I think it's been expired for a little while now. And just see if maybe I can bring this guy in. Oh, again, I'm hitting the problem with I can't look any further down than this. There we go. And, oh, actually, I think he's on the run. I think maybe what happened is he sniffed me out and... decided to get the heck out of here. Can't exactly blame him after the two boars we... Oh, man, what's that way out there? Looks like another wild boar. I guess we might as well cut back through the field, because this is the area where we kind of all started this in. Yeah, I'll work across here, get back the other area, and see if we can get anything else quickly or easily. I think if I can get one more boar... That is that other mission complete, which is another chunk a GM will have back. Okay, he's just wandering his way over, so maybe what I'll do is just try to get into a decent enough spot where I can try waiting him out to come in close and then use the shotgun for him. So it looks like he might be coming in a straight line for maybe just up over this hill here. I'm not going to call him in because... I mean, I don't think the call would scare him off, but I don't think he would, like, respond to it, because he just might have been recently spooked by us. Can't even tell where he exactly is. Try going a little further ahead. I don't exactly want to spring up because I don't have much cover to hide myself in if I am kneeling. Yeah, there he is. So it does seem like he's going to be coming straight along this route. So maybe once he gets up towards the top of that hill there. I'm not going to move close. Nope. Yeah, we got something else in the area. Another road deer. Oh, no, it's the one by the river again. Yeah, so as long as that boar keeps coming in, I don't think I move too much at this spot. We should be able to intercept and hopefully be able to put him down. And I am in a spot where I can look up and down, which is very helpful. 
I guess it must be if you're going uphill, you hit that, like, barrier you can't look further down at. As long as you're on either a level or downward slope, you can do, like, up and down much better. I'm gonna try. Because I know I looked like he was coming straight on, but it's hard to say if he stopped somewhere along the route or he might have changed direction a bit. Well, I'd say he changed direction, all right. He decided to go completely the other way. So it looks like I guess he's just kind of milling about the field. I mean, it's good news I didn't go running off and scared, and I've just been sitting here like an idiot. But instead, I've been sitting here like an idiot while he decided to turn around, just decide to roam around. <laughs> now, the road deer call? Yeah, this one's a female, though. Okay, come on, let's see about trying to get this other pig. Yeah, if you're going uphill, you hit the barrier, you can't look any further down than a certain amount. There. Well, there we kind of go. No, oh, that's him right there. Yeah, you can see the tusks on him, all right. Now, we are completely flat. We've got the scent eliminator on. I don't think he'll be able to pick us up very easily. So as long as we don't move, I might be able to bring him in closer. Or he'll do that for us. I think I'll wait till I can get him in... Maybe under 100 feet. That I feel like might be a bit of a better range to try for... Using the slug. Like, I was able to get the slug to connect with that other boar. But it didn't manage to actually seem to like get the vitals we wanted. Yeah, it's almost like he's reading notes or something. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Come on in, piggy. Yeah, maybe it's just the magic words you need. That's a good piggy, piggy. Come on. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Get a little further. Yeah, I think this is a good range right here. Just kind of want to get a bit better at his side. Or when his head turns so that way I can get it. There we go. Now let's go take a look at this guy. He might be the best animal we got in this weekend. Let's take a look at him, see how he measures up. Ah, I suppose not bad, 31 GM. And there we go, another mission completed. Three little piggies. I guess it was just to get three boars on the same hunt. So at least we finally got a boar that we can take a trophy shot of, and is one that's a little bit more respectable of a proper hunt. That's as low as it'll let me go, eh? Ah, we'll do that. Okay. 
Now we do have a little bit of time still, so I can try going for something else. I just don't know what is actually like in the area. Just took down that boar. Uh, we've heard roe deers, but they haven't been on our side of the river, and I don't know if I can actually like bring them across or not. Would be nice to try for another fallow deer, but aside from the male that we encountered way up there, I'm not even sure what I drew. Actually, I wonder. Yeah. I drew a smiley face! <laughs> but yeah, anyway, aside from the fallow deer encountered way up to the north, I haven't really seen any other animals quite around here yet. So maybe we'll just go for a hike over to the fields there and see what else might be around. And I'll also have to check and see what new missions that's opened up, because, I mean, I'm guessing there's going to probably be harvest a boar of certain sizing or something as a new one, or maybe with a certain weapon, and then, considering I just took down the three, or the two airborne female pheasants, there might be something for, like, airborne males. I'll have to see whatever we open up or unlock. Let's just try to take in and see if maybe we can get lucky with something nice and easy to finish us off. Yeah, so far, this northern little area has definitely been pretty productive for a range of animals. The roe deer, the fallow, the boars, the pheasants. I think we've even had... Have we had a fox or two up here? I can't remember. Not this weekend we haven't, but when we came to put the tent in, I think maybe we'd had... Oh, is there something out there? No, oh, it's just a female boar. I don't think I'd go for the females. No, oh, and another one going way at the back, eh? Yeah, I think it's just a couple of females. And a female fallow deer, I'm pretty sure. I can't even see where she is, that just called out. Well, actually, we are kind of by where I wanted to put the tent, the other, like, my first placement I was thinking of, but I do think having it more at that bridge is a better spot. I can either go north for more stuff up here, or go south for red deer and other stuff. Actually, maybe that's what we'll do next weekend, is we'll start from the tent, but we'll go the opposite and go to the southern side. Go back across the bridge and see what we can get there. Maybe try to go into this, the hills and that to the east, too. to do fallow or roe deer okay kind of surprised the direction it was fleeing though i don't remember anything like startling it from there uh you know what maybe i'll quickly try this little setup and see if i can get a uh, fallow deer in i don't know if there actually is a male out there or not and is that six no, I think that's maybe four instead. Yeah, okay, it's four. Just see if maybe we can finish this off with another one. I think I need buckshot in the rifle, or in the shotgun for it, though. I don't think I need the slugs. I think the slugs would be the red deer, and the buckshot would handle the roe and the fallow. I may be mistaken, though. But I guess we'll find out, depending on how this goes. This could even be, again, the female or the couple of females we spotted quite a ways ago and just kind of circled around this area. So they might not even actually respond to any calls. Hmm. <laughs> 
Like I said, I'll try for a few minutes, see if we do get any replies back or not. And if not, we'll just wrap things up here. I might want to see about switching out instead of the bow going for another rifle. Maybe I'll take the 303 British. It kind of fits maybe a European firearm for European style map. But we'll just kind of see how it goes. I do think, though, the longbow, it's a little trickier to use than the recurve. I think because when you do bring it up, you don't really have the same sort of reference the recurve does with how the arrowhead, like, sits with the bow. It's a little bit different here. No, really. Should I just go for the pheasant instead? Oh, I mean... I don't really have any reason to stick around because I haven't gotten a reply back. Let me just take another quick look up here in case. Yeah, I don't see anything. I haven't heard any reply. I think we're going to just bag another pheasant and then we'll be able to end this off with a success. Nope, nope, nope. There's the pheasant caller. Okay, went a little bit more north than I thought he might. Well, we can still just head off with the shotgun and take him out pretty easily. And I think next episode, maybe what I'll do is I'll try to cut back on some of the callers. I think we've gotten fair enough pheasants that we don't need to go after them as much anymore, so I might put... Or maybe I'll put the hog back. I gotta think of what caller I'll put back, but I want to bring out the uh, fallow deer urine spray and focus on the red deer next weekend I th as like a change up from this one. Okay. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, maybe I'll try getting them in the air. Just since the other males I've gotten this weekend have all been ground shots. Let's see if we can get one when he's airborne. No, no. No, no. No, oh, no, I thought he'd be taken off with that. There we go. I mean, granted, they aren't in the air very much, but it's at least registering enough as airborne for me. So let's go snag him and then end this episode off. And let's see, there he is. Yeah, we won't worry about another trophy shot, but we'll at least just collect them. Yeah, 28. He's actually the lowest scoring one out of all the pheasants, and he was the only one that I got in the air. Now I'm going to run back to the tower, or my blind, just so I can take it down and end this episode off. Thank you guys for joining me in another episode of Hirschfeld and Expeditions. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to comments right down below. Next weekend, we're going to focus more on the deer, I do think I'm going to switch out the longbow for a rifle of some kind, even if it's not the 300 caliber, something that gives me a little bit better ranging or options to get at a range. But we'll probably keep the shotgun because it does have such nice versatility and there's so many different things you can use it for. But until I do see you in the next video episode, Survivors and Hunters, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.